Well, there's always risks to be had, and you know what? Why not do them in the tunnel, right? This is NBA Red Carpet, presented by Toyota Prius. Hi, I'm Cindy Whitehead. I'm a fashion stylist, and I'm going to be breaking down NBA players' game day fits. So this first outfit, I love a good suit. Originally in the NBA, you had to wear a suit, you had to wear business casual, and it didn't go so well for many years. This is a whole new take on it. The green, the shine, everything, uh, the glasses, just a little bit of jewelry. Usually I don't like tone on tone, but this works. This definitely works. I would like to maybe see a little bit more like of a fun sock or something. I kind of like that unexpected play when you're walking to get a little hint of something, like a surprise. So I would like that. I personally love this because the jacket has a motocross vibe. It's got Supreme woven into the logo, so it's got a little bit of skate and street going on. I'm not sure about the work boot. I probably wouldn't have done the work boot with this, but the rest of it I like. I like the shrunken white tee and you're seeing like a little bit of a tank top or t-shirt underneath. Um, the jewelry is great, goes along with the whole look and the whole attitude. I like this a lot. The only thing I'd change is the shoes. So this look, while it looks super simple and at first glance you might think, oh, it's not much, but if you start looking at the details, I love the shoelace as the belt. That, again, is a very much skater vibe coming into play, but then he's thrown in the nice watch and he's got the little Louis Vuitton bag that he's carrying and crisp white shoes. So I like this look all the way around. I think it's perfect. I really, really like it. This look embodies everything to me that the NBA was saying that players couldn't do back in 2005. No headphones, no jewelry, um, no big patterns, anything like that. Nothing that had like a vibe that was a workout vibe. Even though these pants are not workout, but they kind of have that flavor to them. So I like this because it kind of goes against everything that we're fighting against back then, or they were fighting against back then, and it embodies it. The headphones were an unexpected surprise, and especially since they're silver um, and they go great with the bag and everything else. I like it, it makes you stand out and it makes you take notice and look at it again and again. This is interesting. I like that we're bringing hockey into play. Usually, you know, we might see something that gives a nod to an OG legend in the NBA, which I love, or a political statement like free BG. I mean, you have 82 games a year, why not make a statement? at you know, each and every one, if you can. The jeans are a little bit baggy for the top. I think sometimes when you have baggy and baggy, it's a little much. It can be too much of a street vibe, but I like that they went out of the zone and went into hockey here. I thought that was interesting. The James Harden look, it kind of has that just rolled out of bed feel. I'm in the tunnel, it's practical, it's um, you just slip your feet right into those shoes and slip them right out. They're not my favorite. I know they're super popular with a lot of people right now and the pants as well have that pajama vibe to them. They're definitely not, but they have that whole vibe. It's a, a practical fashion look. That's what I would call it. It's, I'm ready to be comfortable. I would lose the headphones. I don't think you need them. I'm feeling like this one, it, it's definitely a look. It's not my favorite look. I would have skipped those jeans. Um, I know they make a statement. They've got some interest to them with the stitching, but I don't think it's his best look. I think, um, a lot could be changed here, starting with the jeans and then going to the shirt. Uh, the hat I don't mind. What do we have with the necklace? Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, I would definitely change this look up. It's not my favorite look of his. I think there's better. Well, there's always risks to be had and you know what, why not do them in the tunnel, right? Uh, it's a good place to try out new looks. It's a good place to show a little skin if you want. First of all, the bag is unexpected. The shoes with the white socks um, scrunched down, not to mention 
the open shirt. I like the vibe. I mean, it's a very risk-taking outfit. If he had had it buttoned up, there wouldn't be as much to look at, talk about, and I think it would just be, hmm. But since he left the shirt open, it just brings it all together. This is one of those outfits that I'm looking at every piece of it and every part of it, and I keep going back and looking at it again and again, because there's so much to look at. It's not so many pieces, but it's the way it's put together. It's his attitude and his he's comfortable in it, obviously. He's owning it. You can tell when somebody's trying something that they're not comfortable in. He's definitely comfortable with what he's wearing, and he's risk-taking, which is cool. I love Sue Bird style, first of all. Um, and the t-shirt, if you are not angry, you are not paying attention, what better place than the tunnel to make a political statement or any sort of statement? You have so many games a year that you have that opportunity, and I think a lot of the women in NBA, including Sue Bird, are there for that moment. Sue rarely gets it wrong. I would say everything about this is perfect, and I love that t-shirt. That's a nice memory miss him. Um, that's me with Kobe when he first started for the Lakers. Back then he was wearing number eight and this was shot in a high school gym. I think it was Dorsey High here in Los Angeles and this was in between takes and the photographer Steve Bonini just caught us at a rare moment where he was kidding around with me and I was laughing with him about something. Um, probably how he played keep away with the ball with me or something like that. And as you can see, I'm wearing Adidas because whenever I'm working with an athlete, I'm always wearing what their sponsor is because that's just a nice thing to do and I think it's respectful. So those are pretty some old clamshell Adidas. <laughs> they still make them. It's an iconic moment. I was lucky to be there. So polite, so nice. Went around to each and every one of us after the photo shoot, shook our hands, thanked us. And I was like, wow. This is a wonderful athlete, wonderful person. I can't wait to see where he goes. And for the next probably six to seven years, I was on every photo shoot with him with Adidas and it just made me happy. I mean, to have that tie and we were there when he met Vanessa and he was just 21 then and such a special moment, special time. Yeah, it brings back a lot of good memories, hard to look at, but a lot of good memories. This episode of NBA Red Carpet is presented by Toyota Prius. It's unstoppable now.